Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. How does that make any sense? Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. That'd be good Stay from there. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. Oh it wasn't the booze God. that made his mind reel. <laughs> oh God. That sentence. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pages only in this. I can get the emergency episode. power on. The fuck. And I already have two of them. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Okay. Here's hoping that it means that the episode is shorter. Not that I don't want to play this game more, but like, I slide later than I wanted to now, so I'm kind of hoping that it's a shorter episode because of that. Let's pick up the flares, I guess. Not that they're gonna do too much good, I suppose, but still. Okay. things wait what do I need to know what do you need from me they can be hurt in the light only in the light and I need to find Cynthia Weaver she can help me stop this light check Cynthia she lives in the old decommissioned power plant I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper come on let's get back to your friend Wheeler I need you to stay here what no we're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends Just who need to be warned some about guns this, from and I can't station. be in two places no at biggie. once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, mate. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, oh, that's... let's go, Wake. Through the back. Wait, was it just a coincidence that she happened to put her hand like that? Or uh, was it actually a level of detail where she did that because I pointed the flashlight at her face? Because if that's the case, then that's kind of cool. Oh hell! Okay, Whatever so took Nightingale she... must have broken the gate yes, controls. Sir. Okay. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff. Okay? Are you sure? Okay then. But hurry. Uh. Here, I guess, question mark, yeah. Oh. I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Oh my god, what? You know, is this?
I don't know if I need to destroy these all, but... Oh well. I could drop down there, but it was probably gonna kill me, to be honest. Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. <laughs> Never this weird, huh? Hey, wait! The gate, remember? You have to open it for me! I couldn't leave without the sheriff. She was my ticket to Weaver. Chill out. Shooting them when they are not lit up. Right there. Okay, whatever. Let's shoot them. Come on. Oh, what? 
here, Wake. The chopper's in the other direction. Yes, yes, yes. Just let me see if there's anything here first. Like, cut down. And there is. Of course, there is. Flare gun. There's something here. Or not. Oh, I can go to the air. The air smelled of fish. This was Bright Falls industrial area. There was probably a cannery nearby. So <laughs> Or maybe she didn't actually I don't know. Stuff is weird. explanations you know for example what the hell happened to Rose she's seriously messed up now the same thing I think happened to me after I arrived during this week you can't remember oh I remember now bring them both up in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff chick down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message. 
told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out. Oh, man. Hello, guys. Kind of dumb. New Yorkers were rude. <laughs> Cause see, she keeps shooting the uh, shooting them when they are still. Hold up. So that was supposed to get checkpoint from this. Okay, there we go. Can you? Oh, that's full as well, I guess. Okay, I see. I have a key. Watch my back, wait. It's an ambush.
Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? <clears throat> the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again, but meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Oh, God. Shit. Wake. He's okay. Okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. It's not recorded when Bright Falls was first formed as a nameless trading post. But it became a town when the Bright Falls Mining Company started to operate nearby in 1878. It was then that Hubert Biltmore, a fur trapper, and Amos Gunderson, a pioneer from Tacoma, decided to build a post office, saloon, and a hotel, and hotel, all operating from the same building. It was through the efforts of this, these two men that Bright Falls became the permanent and thriving town it is today. Did I press the wrong button? I guess I did. Oh yeah, it wasn't F5, it was E to exit, whoops. For some reason I thought I was reading a manuscript. Look out! Over there! We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting people? for us in the backyard. The down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. 
Oh shit. So I can't go here, okay. Or rather that's where I need to go. They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. <laughs> okay. Yep. Five done, and then seven left. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Okay. She went there, so I'm gonna go upstairs. Up building. There's actually nothing here. Okay then. <laughs> hey Zenzi, what's up? Okay. I don't see Barry. Oh. Look! Fuck. Wake! Maybe that's him! That's the way to the chopper! Flare gun, nice. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that breathing, uh, yeah, he gets exhausted <laughs> really easily. Also, I guess I should probably tune the test the body a bit down for this game again, like I've done so far. Just need to remember to turn it back so that I accidentally have no game audio for other games. Oh, there is a mister. Nice. Half done. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns, and yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. Okay. Off. Collected from this episode at least. I kinda doubt I'll get everything. Like, there's probably something always super well hidden and... I just haven't looked enough in any of the episodes. Do you mind going in? I guess it's locked. I see. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break. D
Keep shooting it, you need to fucking take the shadow first. You dumb dumb. Savings, dear first candlelight, dear first morning service, first and sort of weather visit, not sure that lakes in. Okay, I keep pressing the wrong button, god damn it, dude. Why did I pick up the la Oh, does it like give me full charges? I see that. Okay, sense. it's open. Let's go, Wake. I guess I can't even get on top of this. Not that I need to anyways, I guess. Okay. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before deer fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript. But it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Okay. So I'm gonna guess that the... Uh that Sarah is gonna be taken as well, maybe. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. This is spooky. There's a coffee there, but that's God, it's hard to see. Like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? <laughs> Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. 
vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can fit through there, I see. That's nowhere near enough light though, I think. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye. But of they Mordor. don't die from it. You need to shoot I them first. Wish I didn't say that. Or yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Okay. Four more, huh? Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. When someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license or cleared for departure, do tight springs. Don't finish it. Okay. These guys again, huh? This is something that you should get used to. Okay. <laughs> the helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. Can't pick it up, yeah, but there is. there either oh there's a wait this is a battery or a manuscript it's a battery right
come on. Shit. 
these fucking birds. something about the chain for the door to open. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, so text. I don't know, to be honest. I'm not sure. Shotgun ammo without having a shotgun. Very useful. I guess there's a shotgun. <laughs> and here's a new song from a band that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Fuck it. What the hell is going on? Dude, dude, what? Oh my god, I got like the fact that you get stuck like that is so dumb. Like there was nothing I could do there anymore. This is good work. I guess I should use them, but I also need to Do they actually light up like do they give me light? Or is it just damage? Oh, 
Come on. How do you even hit me? Oh, fuck you! This fucking guy just, just half of my health just spam. Fucking Jesus Christ! Why is that a thing? How even? No! How are you still alive? That was terrible. plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. I 
How do I? Oh. Never mind. Oh, I need to go around. Guess. Three more pages. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice.
there at least. There's probably something here as well. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe it was just pointless to come here. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh my god, he just... Some scares are real. Come on. Really? Wait, I... Oh my god, I missed it. or butterflies that dream of being men. Such philosophical concerns are by necessity abstract. And yet, some of us can find concrete proof of the nature of our existence in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, An Absence of Creativity. I put everything here but that. Really? But what is it? Oh, I guess the temptation is to call it a whole, but it's really an absence, a profound lack of reality. In Martha's basement? Yes, it was doing so well, too. I came up with two old ladies and put something really weird in the basement. It was a great start. I'm completely blocked now. I can't imagine what I was up to. Surely it's just an ordinary basement. Is it? Why did you call your friend here then? Well, I... I don't know. Oh, well. Couldn't you just ignore it? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. It would probably turn into a plot hole. Might be one already. Could <laughs> sink the whole enterprise. Oh, my. Listen, ladies, not to be rude, but I'm really not at all sure where I'm going with this, and you're just not helping. 
You should just go back upstairs for a cup of coffee while I try to figure out what I'm up to. Well, if you think that's best. Maybe I should just stop here. Or is that too moronic? Is that too moronic? Indeed. Who can tell? It's a fine line between the stupid and the sublime. Night springs. a typewriter brand. Wait, what? I'm confused. What's the brand of the shotgun? Or is shotgun a typewriter brand? I'm confused. Oh, hi. How did I not touch that? I'm so this is done sometimes. You know what the fuck you? Let's do that. seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Uh, 
the safe haven is over here. Oh. Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it. I might have missed something. Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. God damn it. I guess I'm not it's in checking the well -lit that. Room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. We won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? No, I have a secret route. A lit route. Old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's leaking. All the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. Kill switches outside. Uh. Oh, I see. So I actually get back here. Nice. had sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I had stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. There's still gonna be an ambush here, right? But now we're going to never go at night. We are well too late. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Floodgate controls to be operated by authorized personnel only. Well, I'm an authorized personnel now, right? <laughs> if I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. I didn't even try any. I just <laughs> pressed them randomly and it worked. Okay, I guess. Sure. I mean, not random, I just went in order and then slide over and it worked. Who designs these things? Keeper. Oh, the transformer yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. Okay. 
Oh, fuck. Go through the door. Oh, never mind. I guess I can't. I guess I can't. <laughs> because reasons. Oh, door is possessed, I see. Makes sense. Didn't realize that. There we go. <laughs> In the heat of the moment, didn't realize it. Chainsaw guy, really? Really? Really now? Oh my god. I do not approve of this. At all. And these guys as well. I wonder if I could bait them to go into that front not. That's, yes, how you open it. <laughs> My god. This way, young man, follow me. Come, come, the pipe's empty now, we're ready to go. We need to go. Yes, yes. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on <laughs> him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then oh, Tom man. started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh. He left only one thing behind in my name, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end. If the darkness isn't stopped, she'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? They're probably dead. 
You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Um. Oh, I just go down here. I see. Don't get. Stuck on every tree branch. Well, the room is there. There's a page here. One more page. Oh. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Come over here, if you dare. <laughs> okay. Never mind, I guess. Site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty.
go. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. You were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? <laughs> the flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Getting exhausted so fast. When you spend most of your night running up hills while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, you know your helicopter crash landed in uh, night springs. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, but be careful, huh? Oh, should have. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Trying, but they're fast. How many of them are there? Where'd that one go? Was there one more? Oh, I guess that was. Was that it? Are we safe? That was. Wow. I think we're okay. <laughs> hey, ow. I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. Oh, I hate. I hate running. Wake, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Chill out. I guess. Or not. Let's go in already. Guys. Guys! Oh my god. Come in. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? <laughs> Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. 
That's a nice little detail. A nice thing. Let's be careful, okay? Proceeds to go near a cliff. I hate this. Uh, like this, just to pick up a coffee there, Moses. <laughs> Let's be careful, yeah. There's a button over there that opens the door. Yes, yes. Just let me see if there's anything I can pick up around here. Is that a piece of rock there or the last manuscript page? How the fuck would I even reach there? I have no fucking clue. Maybe. Hold up. Okay. Nah, whatever. If that's a page, then we're missing a page. That's fine. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Oh, oh, wait. What's going on? We can get to the dam through here. What's happening out there? You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, wait. You just look after yourself. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going there anyway now, so. You gotta be kidding me. And that's the last one that I can get within the difficulty. Thomas Zing knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. I guess they left me alone. Now I gotta say something. I've, um, I remember this podcast like I uh, I was a bit of someone else play this game like last year. So I remember parts of this part.
else. Oh. That it? Guess so. Never mind. I wanted to check the shed. Please. Oh jeez. Stop. Stop I guess I'm not check checking the shed then. Are you fucking serious? Oh, I have to do this all over again. <laughs> Why? I was Why? ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Why do I need to exit it and then start using it again? That's stupid. Enough. You will go no further. It's not too precise. Why in front of me? What 
What are you doing? <laughs> you made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well lit room for many, many years now. There's no shadow in the well lit room. The power is fail safe. Both of them are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. <laughs> are you doing? during the Second World War. <laughs> they operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place Oh, now. man. Do you do that? You don't... Okay, I guess they don't react to it now. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore, because 6 and yeah, she's 33 just and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them, because it's very late, and I'm tired, and if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan seven years old would fight sleep to the bitter end when he did sleep he soon woke up screaming the nightmares fresh in his mind one evening his mother sitting by his bed offered him an old light switch she called it the clicker and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away to imbue the talisman with all possible power she added that it had been given to her by alan's father Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I had given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence, in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this.
Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Lot. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Watcher. Two years ago. Okay. Was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Exit, yes.